Hey, good morning, folks. It seems like I have not been voted off the island just yet, so I have another Galactic Math Club for you. And today we're going to talk about the current Relic 10 offerings, as well as where I am personally valuing crystal-wise the Relic 10 materials, so the Coaxial Servo Motors and the Corrupted Signal data. There are multiple Relic 10 uh, bundles out in the store right now. I've kind of reserved judgment on releasing videos for some of the earlier packs just because I wanted to get an idea for the marketplace before I started to release things because we don't actually have an anchor value for coaxial servo motors or that corrupted signal data and I've had to make some estimates so we're going to talk about the value of those things and why I value them a certain way and then we'll talk about the bundles that are currently in the store for Relic Town 10 and whether it is worth it for you as a consumer so stick around. All right, so we have right now, right after Christmas, multiple Relic 10 bundles in store. The Ultimate Relic Duality 1, which is something that has a uh, BOGO 50% attached to it. And generally, buying one, not super worth it. Buying two can be worth it. Now, again, I don't have $150 to just drop randomly on Relic 10 material. But I do understand that there are consumers and players who are in different financial uh, positions than I am. On top of that, we are also seeing the Relic 10 bundle here, which is going to give you mostly um, those coaxial servo motors and some Relic 8 and 9 material as needed. And I believe that I do have a valuation here for the Corrupted Signal Data bundle uh, that is in store for $10. But before we can talk about whether any of those things are worth it to you as a player, we do need to talk about the values on some of those materials. So let's pop on over to my premium value sheets. As always, I do try to use these in my videos so that whether or not you are a paying member, um, that you will will be able to still get the information. But this uh, spreadsheet is available to any of my Buy Me A Beer members, uh, only there because I get your email and blah, 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 whatever, not important right now. Uh, let's head over to our raw, da raw data. Corrupted signal data, right now I am valuing at 362 and a half crystals. And that is based off of the farming value for fragmented and incomplete signal data. So that's the gray and the green. Now, even though the conversion rate on flawed signal data is higher, we're not using that valuation. One, because that is in such high demand that you're probably not going to scrap it. And two, because of the drop rate, the cost to farm it and get corrupted signal data is actually higher, which makes it doubly not recommended. I don't particularly think that this is the best way to value corrupted signal data, but right now it is the only way for us to get that anchor value. So um, I think that we'll see this going maybe a little lower in the future as Relic 10 starts to settle, but for right now, 362 and a half crystals for that corrupted signal data. Now, for coaxial servo motors, we are valuing it at 553 and a third crystals per coaxial servo motor. And that is based it off the estimated value of $200 to get a Relic 10, um, which is based off of being 150 for Relic 9 and $100 for Relic 8. Back when both of those things were released, it is based on taking all of the... Um, the values of all of the materials and getting it up to that 200 number and also using that Relic X Bundle 1 kind of as our anchor value to make sure everything sits really, really nicely, right? So that is important to note. Again, in the future, we might see that number dip down a little bit. I'm hoping somewhere around 450 to 5, but this is where we are right now. Now, we do have three packs that I do want to cover today. So let's head on over and we're gonna start with the Relic X Bundle 1. And the reason why is that again, that is really our anchor for Relic 10 right now. 
uh, for $49, $49.99, you are getting some Relic 8 material, Relic 9 material, Relic 10 material. Now, because we are using this primarily as our anchor, we look at our Relic 10 bundle, and we are going to see a value increase of 0%. So this is essentially right now, um, we're evaluating this as store value. I don't like doing that. I don't like seeing no increase at all, but there is precedent to this. There are other packs that really don't have great value. I don't necessarily remember. I think it's the, no, it's not that one. Uh, maybe it's the Galactic Relic Mastery Bundle. No, it might not be that one. That's got 17%. Uh, is it this one? is Galactic Relic Mastery Value. This one's 20%. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. The Relic X bundle, we're going to keep that at 0%. That is our store value right now in game. Now, moving on to the next one. Let's take a look at our, where is it? Ultimate Relic Duality 1. This is, again, this is our BOGO. This is where we start to see, hey, if you buy one, not as great. If you buy two, this is probably a pretty decent deal. We have seen that with the Supreme Relic Duality in the past. And we've seen a cheaper one, the Grand Relic Duality, come up more recently as well. So let's take a look, pop this back up. Let's go down to our ultimate relic duality. Boom, right here. Looking at this, not as impressive. So if I scroll up to the supreme relic duality, um, our cost is $99. We get about a 91% increase on our return. If we buy the BOGO, we get about a 155% increase on our return. Now, $150 spend, obviously, we get a higher valuation. That's really nice. That's kind of how these games work. The more you spend, the more value on top of store value you get. But when we look at the Ultimate Relic Duality Pack, for spending on one pack, we are really only getting about 29% increase in value. That does not spark joy. That's not interesting to me, especially when you're asking players to drop the amount of money that you are asking them to drop. Now, listen, I understand that because Relic 10 is new, maybe CG doesn't really want to um, discount it at all. And that does make sense. But if you don't want to discount it at all, I'll keep the Relic 10 bundle and throw this away for another year until you are ready to show me that discount. Now, if you do buy two of them, you do see a roughly 72% increase on your value, and that is obviously a lot better uh, if you have the $150 to drop and you want to drop it on Relic 10. This maybe is the way to go just because you're not anchored to that $50 per set that Relic 10, uh, the Relic 10 Bundle 1 has, and you do see a little bit of additional increase. Now, I will say that, honestly, Relic 10 to me is not super, super impactful, especially if you have the ability to bring things to Relic 8 or to Relic 9, that Relic Delta of one or two, not as amazing. I would recommend only putting this on your defensive powerhouses um, like Ray, like Ezra, like Ben. Um, and maybe your really, really, really strong offensive things like uh, Leia or Drogon. But... Honestly, I'm throwing all of my Relic 10 at Gungans right now because I don't see the impact and I want to have a little bit of fun. Now, the last thing that we have up here, that would be the Corrupted Signal Data Bundle. Gives us seven Corrupted Signal Data, a bunch of the old Signal Data as well. Let's see how that is stacking up. Um, pop this back over. I know I have it. Corrupted Signal Data Bundle. Bop, bop. Uh, 25, 20, 15, 7 corrupted signal data, $10. We are actually seeing about $22 in value, which is honestly really nice. Now, again, I don't see a huge value in Relic 10 as it is, but you are still getting, if I were to take away the corrupted signal data, 
almost $7.50 in just old signal data. So your cost reduction or your value reduction is only 25% while also being able to account for the future, bring it up to 128%. I would not say that this is a hard buy pack, but I will say that for $10, it is something that honestly, I'm strongly going to consider just to make sure that as a smart player and as Relic 10 becomes more and more impactful later down the road, that I am stocking up and keeping myself topped up on the things that will be very limiting in the future. Now, with all of that said, again, everybody's situation is their own. I'm not telling you to spend $150. I'm not telling you to spend $100. I'm not telling you to spend $50. I'm honestly not even telling you to spend $10. I am just telling you where the value is if you so happen to choose. And because it is around the holidays, maybe you got some Apple gift cards, Google, Android gift cards that you don't know where to spend them. And, and it's basically girl math, free money for you. Um, do what you need to do. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, as always, if you did, don't forget to subscribe and peace out. Have a great rest of your day.